Okay, I put all the pieces together that I have so far. And now I got to the hard part again, where I have to make new pieces. And I'm not sure how to make them. I mean, if I had, like, a magical machine that would take the material and put it into any shape I wanted, it would be a piece of cake. But, you know, I have some pipes. And uh, a couple other shapes of things. And specific ones. I don't have, like, unlimited supplies of any size and shapes I want. So anyway, I have to figure out how to use the materials efficiently. So my brains are thinking. I think I must use up a lot of calories when I'm thinking. Because I've been thinking for, like, the last hour... And I've just been pigging out. I probably ate like 2,000 calories just sitting around thinking. And I'm still hungry. Hungry brain. Too bad I can't show you what's going on in my brains right now. It's kind of cool. Okay, inside my brain case when I'm designing new parts, first I uh, clear it all out like a big and get, every, get rid of everything. And then I put in space because I'm doing something in the physical world, right? And then I'll stick in my robot what I have so far. And then over here I'll put in, like, what would be the perfect manufacturer of it. And, uh, somehow I want to get in between, you know, the perfect one and crap. And get something that'll fit in what I have with the materials I have. So then, I'll, uh, move this guy over. And then, like, take that, take that leg piece that I'm making next and I've got the perfect one here. Ooh, that's smooth and slick. And, ooh, so nice. But I don't have the parts to make that. So now I'm, now I'm throwing in all the parts that I have. I have a bunch of aluminum pipes. I know all the different sizes and everything, roughly. So now they're floating around. And I'm making copies of them. Like there's like a million different copies of them. So I can take one set of them, chop them up, weld them together, and make a leg piece. Like, there's one. And it uses up a certain amount of the materials. Mm, and I want to use as few of the materials as I can with having all the strength I need and I need it to still fit in the right places and when everything's moving around I can't help let things crash together so I'll make a whole bunch of different ones uh, in different configurations and then zoom in on pieces of them and say oh this is a, this is a good piece of this one alright let's use that oh we're gonna keep that which with and then I'll get rid of all the other leg op piece options and make a bunch with that thing in them and this this back here, I know how I want to do that. Yeah, so I'll make a bunch with that, and then the joints. And I'm not sure how. I'll leave those open ended. So I'll leave them fuzzy, but roughly I know how they're gonna be. And then I'm not sure. Let's see. I have a piece out here, and I've got like a whole bunch of different ones. Hmm. Well, it looks much better in my head than in my hands, and it goes a lot faster than I can explain normally. And to really get good answers uh, from my brain, I have to run all this information through the emotional processing centers because, like, you know, your emotional processors can take huge amounts of information and crack it down to a little answer like, ooh, that's great, oh, that sucks. Um, or if you modify it a little bit, you can put lots of information in there and have it spit out like an image of a cool thing that'll work. Hmm. So I, I guess I, I guess I screw with my emotional processes a little bit when I do that, but anyway, it works. All right, I'm gonna let my brain process for a while. I'm gonna go dig some dirt. I've been bringing pipes down here. There's some. There's some more over there. Seems like I have plenty of pipes, at least to get started. And then I was thinking, wait a minute, I don't know how long anything has to be. And I was like, oh man, I hope I wrote it down somewhere. And ha ha. There's some papers in the bottom of this box. I must have written some stuff down. This little piece of paper looks very promising. Hmm, here we've got an eight. I think that means 80 centimeters. Hmm, I better go measure some stuff on the robot to make sure it lines up right. Ah, uh, cursed American contractor tape measure only has inches and feet. Oh my gosh, who would want... Oh. Who works in inches and feet? It's crazy! Okay, I know a lot of people do. Oh, so much better. We've got feet over here, and meters! Yay! Just in case some tape measuring making people watch this video at some point in time. Ooh, look, isn't this so nice? Ah, yes. Inches and centimeters. Check it out! <laughs> I 
And now to chop it up. Once I chop it up, no going back. Uh, so yeah, I really hope this goes well. Because I only have one of these pipes. And I won't have another chance. Wow, I have to say that cut really smoothly. Must be the new blade. Uh, okay. Now I have some other funny cuts that are at weird angles. Uh, I'm just going to get to it. I hope that looks pretty good. And I used less than half the pipe, which means I can get another one out of those. But I need three, so I'll have to find another pipe that's pretty strong to use for this. Hmm, this particular piece has to be mighty strong, though. Oh, oh, oh! I think it's welding time! I have to get on my fancy welding shirt. Of course, I'm already protected. Oh. I don't know why I'm always so nervous about welding when I haven't done it in a while. Because as soon as I start, it's so fun! Check it out, it's so cool! Oh, I'm being such a dork. Sorry, I gotta go weld some more stuff. Oh man, I need a drill press next. And that's still up at the dome. Okay, I gotta go get it. Wait a minute. I did bring it down, did Oh yeah, drill press, I did bring it down, sweet. So I've been welding this stuff, which is actually thicker than my welder is rated for. But I found that if I kind of like weld in the same spot for a while, like I think I started over here, and get the metal heated up, or I think I started right there, and just make a blob, and once the metal's heated up, then I can move around and actually weld it. It seems to be working all right. Wait a minute, you're some kind of new fangled blasting device. <laughs> Well, I could actually shoot potatoes with this. Hm. Oh, never mind. I need some sandpaper. Excellent. Okay, so I needed to test something. And I had to turn it on, but I didn't want these springs flopping all over the place, so I needed to attach them down here. Luckily, I had my wrist chains, so I just hooked them up with that. Um, and then I didn't have enough of these springs, but luckily I have a trampoline outside, so I had to swipe one off there. I just have to remember to put the trampoline spring back before I go jumping on it. So I got a second trumpety thing put together, and I've been trying to fit them in the bottom here, and I was having some problems trying to get everything to fit right, and I couldn't figure out why I was having such difficulty. I was thinking, man, am I making these things wrong? No, there just isn't enough space. It shouldn't be this difficult, at least when I put it together in my head, and then I realized that this whole top section is about seven and a half inches too low. I have to lift it up. So right here, I have to put in a big, like, spacer. Uh, I mean, it was kind of annoying that I made the mistake and had these, had the top section too low compared to the bottom section, but I'm also kind of relieved that it was just a mistake that'll be kind of easy to fix that will make all the uh, rest of everything go together more smoothly, I hope. Hmm. Now I'm just rambling. But right now, I'm going to put everything away. I'm not going to screw with it today because I might mess something else up. I have to go and uh, I don't know, do something else and think about it before I start tearing things apart and screwing things up and make sure I'm actually getting it right.